Okay, show Jess. Say thank you, Jess, for showing me your pretty nails. I'm showing you my pretty nail. Tell her what color it is. It's, it's red. But what's the name of it? Bloody? It's actually called Bloody Lips. Bloody Lips. Here it is right here. Woo. Where, where is the eye? There it is. They're called Broadway Nails. Let's see if it'll focus. Anyway, tell her thank you. Say thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Say see you again soon. Hi YouTube, it's me Kelly. I know I'm a day late. I thought I was going to be able to get my video up of part two of uh, Friday's video. But the thing is, um, I wasn't able to. Um, we were moving a lot of furniture and stuff around, um, moving things around. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought it was going to happen a later time in the future. But anyway, it's done and over with, and there is something flying around me. They ha I had my bedroom door open. They're always, my daughter's always in and out of the back door. So it's a little tiny fly or a mosquito. Better not be a dang mosquito because I cannot stand them. They love me, though. Anyway, moving on, um, I wanted to touch bases with everybody and let them know, um, I think I already said that in my last video, I'm going to be doing my weigh-ins on Saturdays now instead of Fridays, so every Saturday because it is easier, today's Sunday, but uh, of course I already did my weigh-in on Friday, but from now on my weigh-ins will be on Saturday instead of Fridays, um, it's just easier for me. Now that we got all the moving and stuff out of the way, knock on, knock on wood, <laughs> knocking on my dresser there. Okay, I wanted to um, just talk about the new stuff that I tried with the uh, frozen foods. It's called, I can't remember the name of the program. I, it's Nutrisystem, but there's a, there's a basic, there's a core, and there's one above that. And I believe there's one with all frozen now. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Frozen again um, this month, uh, which will be, normally it's two ni it was, or $3.29 last month. It was $2.99 because I got a deal $20 off. But this month it'll be, three or this month in July coming, it'll be $3.29. Um, I think it's worth the extra $50 because it does give you a variety and it gets you, you know, to choose um, instead of just having all shelf stable, it does, it really does. Um, I've had some bad experiences, hold on, you can see the back of this, I just didn't want my address to show, but, uh, let's see, the Italian sausage and turkey pizza, I have, I had two of those, they were the frozen dinners, um, they're okay, they're a little dry, um, they come with the sausage and turkey pizza, and that is a mosquito that I'm seeing. Um, I'm going to kill the little joker because I don't I think I got it. I'm not sure how bad I'm killing a mosquito on video. And, yes, my hair is wet again. I just got done working out. Um, it's, you know, it's funny. I, I have very little hair. It used to be really long if you look at my old videos. And it seems like the shorter it is, the longer it takes to dry. So, it's semi-wet, semi-dry. That's okay, though. Um, let's see. I tried the Italian... Like I said, the, the pizza's dry. It's good, though. It tastes... If you've ever had the Tony's pizza, the little personal pizzas, the little 99-cent ones you buy at the supermarket, it tastes like that. Um, except for this one's a little bit, you know, about as dry as them. They're, you know, if you want to add something, I would recommend getting your healthy oils because you're supposed to have healthy oil. Sprinkle in a teaspoon, not even a teaspoon, I'd say a quarter, because you're supposed to have two teaspoons a day of healthy oil. But I haven't been doing that, and um, I'm considering with my next one, because I've only ate one of them so far, I'm considering sprinkling um, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon of, what do you call that? Ugh. I might even put the pesto on it, because it, it's mixed with olive oil, um, the garlic pesto. Um, on it the next time because it is a little bit dry. I just put hot sauce on mine, but you know it's good. It's good. It's it's decent. I I I see myself ordering that again. The cavatelli with broccoli pesto. Oh gosh, that was awesome. It was yummy. And I mind you, I'm talking um, mosquitoes getting on my last nerve. Um, I'm talking the frozen dinners. 
<laughs> I'm trying to catch a little bitch. Excuse my language, but I, it's pissing me off. Okay, um, I don't know how to beat that out. <laughs> anyway, cavatelli with cavatelli with broccoli and pesto was yummy. It was cavatelli noodles with broccoli and the pesto sauce. It was really yummy. It was filling. Um, the grilled sausage and peppers, yuck. I'll never order that again. It's gross. It's chicken sausage. I've never had chicken sausage, and I'll tell you right now, I never want to have it again. Now, it tastes like a bratwurst, and I'm not into bratwurst, but it tastes like a... I don't know, I just didn't like it. Uh, somebody else, you know, the peppers were good, but I threw it away. Didn't even eat it. Uh, the Salisbury steak with mac and cheese, yum, it's good. The cheese kind of looks orange, but it's really, really good. Um, tastes just like it says. <laughs> tastes just like a uh, Salisbury steak. The broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast. Now that, the reason why I, I, that's one of the reasons why I want to stick with um, the frozen, you know, the shelf stable and the frozen mix because that broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast, I only had three of those. They were the bomb. They were so good. The, the chicken was very tender. The broccoli and cheese, you put it in just for what it says and it comes out perfect. I found myself, if, I, if you put it in for even 20 seconds more than you're supposed to, it because uh, I did that just to make sure it was heated all the way through, because um, it's already pre-cooked. But um, the chicken breast uh, gets a little dry if you leave it in too long, so cook it. If you ever get it, just cook it for as long as it says, and it's all good. Um, now, that was the frozen dinners. The frozen lunch was a four-cheese melt. Sorry, had this in the way. The four cheese melt, very good. Mosquito. Four cheese melt um, was awesome. You know what? Hello, everybody. I'm back. I had to kill that mosquito, and I think I got it. I think I got it. I just don't know where it landed. Um, so I'm sorry if I cut you short. It was really bugging me. Okay, the frozen lunches. The four cheese melt was awesome. Broccoli and cheese melt was awesome. New chicken fajita melt. Um, I didn't really care for that because it tasted like uh, enchilada, and I don't care for the enchilada sauce. Long story, I ate too many years ago when I was a skinny bone and got really sick, <laughs> um, and just don't care for the bra or the enchilada taste anymore. But I won't order that again for that reason. It was good, spicy. If you like enchiladas, you'll love that. But it's supposed to taste like a fajita. It wasn't. It wasn't. Did not do that. The hamburgers are yummy. The hamburgers actually are small. Well, the buns are. The hamburgers are actually a normal size hamburger, and they're real beef hamburgers. They're the they're the steak burgers. 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 They're the steak burgers. They're not the um. The you know they're they're full steak burgers. They're not basic hamburgers. You know with all that fat, and it which I liked. New steak and cheese melt was good. We'll order them again. They were pretty dang good. Now, they said they had... Maybe I didn't get that mosquito. Oh, well. Um, they say that they had the uh, mushrooms in it. Well, it must have been pureed because I didn't see any mushrooms. I didn't taste any mushrooms, so I don't know. The beef and bean and cheese burrito, mm, it was a basic beef, you know, basic burrito. I didn't like the sauce it had in it. It was like a sweet sauce to me. I didn't care for it, so. Turkey, sausage, and egg muffin. It's good, but I won't order it again because it wasn't the greatest. Um, I heated it up, and every time I've heated them up, and I've heated it exactly, one of them I heated a little bit less, and it was still cold. But if you heat them a little, if you heat them like they say, then the muffin is hard. Um, yeah, the egg McMuffin gets hard. The breakfast burritos are pretty good. They're really good. I eat them with salsa. I ha I make my own salsa, so I eat them with salsa. The only thing is, is I don't put all of the salts in it like I used to. I put the cilantro and all that, and there's there's it's no sodium at all, so it's um it's free. It's a free food. Um, Canadian bacon and egg white biscuit. Now that I had two of those, those are really really good. I'm ordering those again. I wish I would have got more than two. Egg and turkey. Sausage roll is okay. It's palatable. It tastes good. 
but I don't think I'm going to order them again because it has a little bit of a tad bit sweet taste to it, and I'm done, I'm not really into that. And even when you cook it, it smells like there's syrup, like a, a maple smell to it, but there's none. It's not uh, syrupy. It's just the smell of the bread because all of the all of the breads are like a whole wheat bread. They're not or a whole grain bread. They're not regular white breads, even with the pizzas. Um, my frozen snacks. What I've tried so far is the yummy. <laughs> the yummy. I see yummy on here. The whole grain soft pretzel. It's absolutely good. All you do is put them in the microwave for like I think it was 30 seconds, and they come out soft, perfect. I've had to heat mine up for another 10 seconds, but it doesn't. They come out soft. I eat them with mustard, which is zero calories, and, um, yeah, didn't get that mosquito yet. I'll get the little bastard. Excuse my language again. It's one of those days. Um, anyway, I haven't tried the carrot cake whoopie pie yet, or did I? I think I did. It's pretty good. Yeah, I did. I tried. I've got two of them on here, and I've got one left. It's pretty good. The carrot cake whoopie pie tastes just like carrot cake with the cream the, the cream in the middle. Um, chocolate cupcake, I actually didn't have that. I gave that to my daughter. I'm not much, much, much on chocolates, and it was a day that I wasn't eating. I was off you know, schedule, so I said, ah, oh, you can have it. And she said she loved it, so... The ice cream sandwich I haven't had yet. The fudge bar I haven't had. I'm sure I'll like both of those. Um, basically, that's about it. I didn't get. I don't think I got anything new, as far as um, the shelf stable. But like, like I said again, this month I'm gonna go ahead and, and get. I've already put my order in, and um, I'm gonna try a few new things out, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. I do apologize. Um, again, I'm down to twelve point two. That's 18.8 pounds lost. I want to congratulate a really good friend of mine on here and so many others. Um, I always mention her name, and I know it's I'm a broken record, but she she is down 19.8 pounds in just in just around two months because she started just after me. Getting on my last nerve. Anyway, um. Normally, my bedroom door stays shut, and uh, I don't know, I did my daughter's nails a little while ago, and she goes in and out, and you know, of course, it's been raining out there, so it's a little damp in the backyard, so I think mosquitoes coming in here, like I said, they love my butt, as long as a little joker don't land on me, it's good. Anyway, um, I don't want to keep rambling on, but I am down 18.8 pounds, but Jess Heilman, she's awesome, she's, um, doing really really well I mean she is she not only does the Nutrisystem but she also talks about the weight loss and talks about a lot of things so please go check her out I mean she's awesome uh, let's see she also does nails uh, nail tutorials and nail art and stuff like that and she's got a couple of new videos on her nail art and stuff which I think is amazing I'm considering looking on eBay um, because my daughter she's four and she seen the Hello Kitty, and she was like, oh, wow. You know, she loves watching Jessica's. I, Jessica, just keep making those uh, videos. Man, that that is really bugging me, that mosquito. Anyway, um, she, uh, she actually is a babysitter, whether she knows it or not, when I'm doing something. And I'm like, here, watch Jessica's video. And she'll watch it over and over. And then she'll get tired of it, and then she'll go and watch something else. But she loves Jessica's videos, especially her nail tutorials and her nail uh, fingernail polishes and stuff. She just loves watching stuff like that. And you'll probably see at the end or at the beginning of this, um, I did her nails red, which I normally wouldn't put red on her. She's only four, but it's only one coat, and she's not going anywhere. She's already been to church today, so... And hers wears off really fast. She bites her fingernails. She's a nail biter. Anyway, all right, everybody. Stay positive, focused, motivated, determined, and on track. And if I run any, into anything before Saturday, I'll, I'll put it on YouTube. If not, I'll see you guys Saturday. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.